guys. Um, good afternoon and good evening kung saan ka mang parte ng mundo. Uh, my name is Harold and I am a nurse based here in Dublin, Ireland. So, if you are new to my channel, um, don't forget to click the subscribe button and tap the bell para you will be notified if I will be making more videos in the future. So guys, for today's vlog, I am going to share to you my collections or toy collections of my die-cast toy planes. When I was young, I just want to share it to you before we start. When I was young actually, when I was back in the province guys, every time I see airplanes, alam mo yung feeling na sinusundan mo siya hanggang sa mawala siya. So that was actually the start of my inspiration of collecting toy planes. With you know, opportunities, um, confidence, um, sipag at syaga, I was able to, you know, board on a plane for the first time. And so I will be delighted to share to you my collections. So the first one on my collection is this one. This is the Philippine Philippine Airlines um, diecast plane. It's actually made of metal and I got this one last year when one of my friends here in Ireland um, went to the Philippines. So I asked her, her friend was a flight attendant, so I asked her if she can grab one for me so that I can add it to my collection. Um, this play, um, this, this, I bought this one because um, every time I actually travel as much as I can, I want to get a souvenir out of it, you know, but at least, you know, uh, my, 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 you know my, my memory, like, oh, I, I went to that place and this is like the, the symbol for that. It's really, really nice. Like you can see that the emphasis on the Philippine flag over here. And yeah, it's just a good collection. It actually has a stand, but um, I'll show it to you because I'm gonna um, assemble them all together, together with the other collections that I have. We're gonna do a quick B-roll. So the second one in my collection is the um, Cebu Pacific diecast toy. Um, I got this one last year as well when I went home for my holiday and um, this is actually the airline, my go-to airline if ever I want to go before when I went to Manila nung pumunta ako ng province namin to visit my grandmother and my cousins ito yung ano, airline na ginamit ko when it comes to material, um, this one is actually made of plastic but it's a good quality type of plastic and yeah, I just like the emphasis of the color because especially this one here on the tail side diba ito yung, ano, ito yung symbol ng um, Cebu Pacific na kahit nasa taas siya tapos tinitignan mo, malalaman mo na ah, that is Cebu Pacific so yeah, it's, it's a nice one um, this is actually the biggest diecast plane in my collection so we are down to the third collection um, this is the Emirates okay, Emirates um, toy plane Okay, uh, that's the accent there for the tail. Um, I got this one as well last year. I just bought this one online. And the main reason why I got this because yung nga, um, when I first came to Ireland, ito yung airline na ginamit ko. Okay, so ito yung, um, ito yung parang memorable first flight ko overseas. And first flight ko to actually build my my dreams to work as a nurse abroad and you know it, it, it became the the opportunity that I got actually became a foundation to whatever I have now and this airline took me here so that's why I, I decided to collect one of this and um, service wise they have a good service and I don't know I just maybe I just missed out something because every time I I, I, you know, board this plane when I go home, especially, it's my go-to um, airline when I go home in the, in the Philippines yearly. And I didn't know that if, that you can order, or you can have, you can drink whatever you like. So actually I'm trying to limit myself because I thought I have to pay for that. So next time, so when I go home, hopefully next year, I'm gonna drink whatever I want. Material-wise, it's made out of metal, so it's the same with the Philippine Airlines toy. So, it's good. I'm really excited to display them soon. It's just that I can't display them now because I don't have enough space. Now, the fourth um, die-cast toy on my collection is 
an airline that is popular here in Ireland and this is the Ryanair Ryanair line so yeah that's the side that's the tail side as well it has like the harp symbol because in Ireland um, harp is one of the iconic symbols in Ireland and um, the, its trademark is the blue one here and this one here this airline guys is comparable to Cebu Pacific in the Philippines because they offer cheaper flights so this is my go-to um, airline or plane if ever I will go to the parts of Europe or if I'll go to let's say London if I will go to Belgium in all my flights I think when I went to Amsterdam I went to um, Belgium I went I uh, think Paris that was another airline but this is my go-to because it's cheaper like sometimes they will have a flight of like 500 pesos from Ireland to London that kind of way so yeah built-in plasticky material but good quality the fifth one in my collection is this one it's the DHL um, diecast toy I collected this one because every time I I sent a parcel or um, something important back home and then I want to make it urgent or really quick so I usually send them via DHL and it's the airline that takes it there yeah you know and the sixth one is my FedEx airline toy yeah okay so it's also one of the cargo planes that will you know take parcels I just like it because it's cheap when I saw it online <laughs> and the last but not the least is this one it's the Air Asia diecast plane um, I got this one I think last year so most of my toys were kind of like I bought them last year because I was able to find a website even in Amazon you can only get them for cheaper uh, uh, cheaper price now this one is actually nice it's also made out of metal and yeah that's the name of the airplane there and made of metal uh, good quality as well so it's really you know a good good way or a good good toy for display when you put them on the cabinet with the with the lights on so price wise um, it will depend on the quality so if it's built from metal i think the most expensive one i had was 15 euros and the cheapest one is um, 10 euros so it's not too bad for a toy or for a collectible item for me it's it's not it's not really a collectible item but if you're into plane spotting if you like planes if you like traveling it's kind of like a good souvenir for you to, to display at home so before I end uh, this vlog I just want to say um, if you have any plans in life uh, if you have any aspirations um, work on it um, because you know you never know it will just opportunity will just come and then knocks on your door and then you grab it and it will change your whole life because as, as, as I, I, I've said like for me I, I just play planes wise I was just you know looking at them in the sky before like just you know getting myself amazed like what's the feeling like of flying but yeah with all the efforts and prayers and opportunity comes in and yeah I can now was able to travel from one place to another and enjoy what's the feeling like of flying so that's it guys and i hope you enjoyed that little collection of mine and yeah if you're new to my channel um, don't forget to click the subscribe button and tap the bell so that you will be notified if i will be making more videos in the future so thank you thank you so much i'll see you again next time this is harold signing off we got it.